coffee playing cards. They're all on separate layers. And I'm going to add shadows to these by adding and subtracting selections. To load a layer as a selection, hold Command or Control and click on its thumbnail in the Layers panel. To add an additional layer as a selection, hold Shift and Command or Shift and Control and click on the next thumbnail and the same for the next one. Let's make a new layer. We'll call it Back Shadow. Move it to the back and let's modify this selection by feathering it. We can fill this with black, which is the foreground colour, Option Backspace or Alt Backspace. We'll deselect, move it out of the way and reduce the opacity of the shadow. Now for the shadows on the cards themselves. We'll load the jack as a selection and we now want to subtract the other two cards. Hold Command and Option or Control and Alt and click on the thumbnail of the 5 layer to remove that. The same keys and click on the Queen layer to remove that. We'll make a new layer. And now we can use the paintbrush set to a low opacity to paint our shadow onto this layer. Now for the 5, command or control and click the thumbnail to load it as a wholly new selection. We'll remove the queen layer from the selection and now we can paint our shadow onto here. When we deselect, there are our shaded cards. But the shadows, not only the one beneath them, but the shadow at the top is on a completely separate layer. 